Pisces, again, like you're so adapted for this in a way that it's almost like I'm not mocking you with how excited I am. I like have. Okay, so let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm your friend. I am a mystic, a healer, a consciousness from a different time and space that has come down to this planet to help you make sense of some of the woo that's going on and a little bit of like the changing, the, the awakening is what I'm here for. And the grid behind me is for Pisces rising, but this can always be watched by a Pisces sun as well as a Pisces moon. So never feel as though it's solely based on the fact that I've experienced so much trauma in my life and have had like the wildest of awakenings and it's like multi-dimensional as can be. And so I've always said that I'm so grateful for all the traumas. I'm so grateful for how I was labeled as this, that, and the third, all when I was growing up. It's like, oh, you have this, you have this, you have this. Because now, the more I channel and open up to the divine and like and speak God's word for the collective, I can differentiate between, okay, this is my thought, this is my brain, this is an intrusive thought, this is the divine, this is like uh, my future self. Like I can differentiate between all of those because of all the work that I've had to go through, because of all the therapy and all of the blessings. And in the time I thought I had to, but look at what is happening. I'm so adapted to being myself. All the little things that I thought were so negative. <laughs> Even growing up working as a waitress, where I always ha I had no idea who I'd be talking to. I had to make them feel safe and comfortable. Like, I'm reaching you maybe on the other side of the planet. I have absolutely no idea. We're like transcending time and space with you and me, Pisces. I'm so honored to be here with you. So I feel honored that I was labeled as such a little misfit growing up because I now honor that and just wear it proudly. And it's an incredible blessing to be so different. So I just have to highlight that the fact that you're so well adapted to this time of constant change and tumultuousness and fear all over the place, it's literally like, I think it was like the second, um, Guardians of the Galaxy, where like the little baby Groot is like dancing and like they're fighting all around it. It's like, that's what I see you, where you're just like, oh yeah, this is great. Oh, there's war over there. Okay, yeah, these people are fighting over here. All right, that's fine. It's like, you're just, <laughs> that's what we need. Like, honey, like we're the violinists on the side of the Titanic, just being like, you're on fire, you're doing great. It's like, you know those spin instructors that like don't drop sweat, but they're like, you got this, honey, you got this, you got this. And you're like, oh my God, how am I doing this? And they're like laughing and like making jokes and stuff. That's you in this world right now. People are like, how the fuck are you dealing with this? How the fuck are you having all of these doubts? Like, how is it that you're just vibing and you're like, this is great. I'm fine. I'm fine. Because you know yourself. You know yourself. I know I've mocked you and called you the baby ancients before because you're like the inadvertent light workers. You just like are the most divine beings in these human bodies that are just like, am I supposed to do something right now? I'm feeling everything of everybody in the room and I could tell you what they're thinking and what they're processing, but am I supposed to like do something right now? No, don't do anything, don't do anything. Yeah, this is eclipse season. If you watch my introductory video, you know that this is not about manifesting. This is about why did your soul come to this planet? And this is happening in the deep, transformative death and rebirth, the lions and tigers and bears house of the entire zodiac. Nobody could handle this but you. Literally, nobody could handle this but you. You know, we talked about you're going to be blessed financially or you have been or you are. Like, it's just you're being blessed in so many different ways. Just keep on keeping on. Venus is in your house of relationships. Keep on keeping on. What's meant for you is looking for you. You were literally built for this. I'm just grateful for you being here. I feel like there's something that I could offer you. There was a Saturn in Pisces video that I did back in March 
um, that talks about mental health and different things like, like mental health is no joke right now so although you are so well adapted to this our friends and colleagues and the humans and beings around us have literally like if they haven't been doing the work they don't know how to meditate they can't differentiate these voices in their head some of them God's talking to them some of them are then identifying as God it's like it's it's so Neptune and Pisces as well there's so much confusion in the world that it's like yes we're going into unity consciousness but we have to stay individual that's why we came to this planet that's why the planet was created was for God to have a human experience that's why we created this polarity based reality to learn and better ourselves and ascend just let go of lack mentality that's it that's it just let it go just let it go. Like if I handed you a billion dollars, would you just say thank you? Thank you. Because you can do good work with it. You and Aquarius. Yeah. Not Capricorn. Capricorn needs to nap. Cap, if you're watching this, get off this channel. This isn't for you. This isn't for you. You're built for this, honey. I really appreciate you. Thank you for being here.